Benitez versus Sugar Ray Leonard in their only meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. In Las Vegas. 1976 Olympic gold medalist Sugar Ray Leonard, 25 and 0, 16 knockouts. Final preparations in his dressing room. As he fights for his first world championship. For Leonard, this will be his ninth fight this year. Fought on September the 28th, knocked out Andy Price in the first round to defend his NABF welterweight championship. Standing room only crowd in Las Vegas. Awaiting the arrival of Sugar Ray Leonard and Wilfred Benitez for this much anticipated showdown. Leonard with some impressive wins on his resume early in his career. And here comes Ray Leonard. And this place will go nuts when Leonard makes his way into the arena area. As Ray Leonard heads to the ring. Trainer Angelo Dundee. Leading the talented Leonard to the ring. After he won gold in Montreal, Leonard said, I'm done boxing. But that changed quickly as he turned pro in February of 1977. Strung together six wins that first year. Fought once a month in 1978. And here in 1979, his ninth bout of the year. 25 fights in three years. That's why he's number two ranked in the world. And now the champion, Wilfred Benitez. Making his way into the arena. Benitez. Fighting out of the Bronx in New York. Born in Puerto Rico. Turned pro back in 1973. In 1976, captured the WBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Defended it one time. Two years ago, he moved up to welterweight. Had a 10 round draw with Harold Weston. Captured the welterweight championship earlier this year, back in January. A split decision, 15 round decision over Carlos Palomino. He defended it in March with a 15 round decision against Weston. Now taking on Sugar Ray Leonard. Very stoic look from Benitez's face. He and Leonard in a stare down. Who will blink first in this match? There's Chuck Hull, our ring announcer. Carlos Padilla, the referee. He will step in for final instructions. There is the belt that Leonard wants. Benitez, welterweight championship belt.
Leonard and Benitez sizing each other up eye to eye. Little wake from Sugar Ray. And we are set. We'll be right back with Wilfredo Benitez versus Sugar Ray Leonard. So he's going away with Avis. Again. He'll probably get the where to GPS so he can find all his precious fancy coffees and driving ranges on his business trip. Fine. That's the way he wants it? Fine. Forget about him. You don't need him. Did he just look back? He looked back. Where to GPS can find anything from a driving range to a latte. Just one more reason Avis is your other car. Twelve summers of boat hauling. Six minutes to soccer practice. 63 miles of commuting daily. For any extreme, from the road to the racetrack. Nothing beats Mobile One, the official motor oil of NASCAR, and the choice of over half of all NASCAR teams. So put some NASCAR in your car with the one, Mobile One. Going somewhere? <laughs> what are you in for? Wi-Fi? Break free from Wi-Fi with broadband access from Verizon Wireless. Click to connect and work in more spots than just hotspots on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. Now get a free broadband access modem. Monthly plan starting at $39.99. It's reliability to go. Verizon Wireless. From coast to coast, cops are cracking down on seatbelt violations. Buckle up day and night, or expect a ticket. It doesn't matter who you are or where you live, they'll be on the lookout. Cops write tickets to save lives. Click it for ticket. It's life or death to me. I'm the number one fighter in the world, and I'm ready to prove it. I've been there, done that, and I'm on my way back to win a belt. There's no way this fight's going five rounds. Don't blink. And now, Legends of the Ring. Leonard 23, Benitez 21. Leonard a bit heavier. Reach negligible. Benitez turning pro in Puerto Rico. See, he's only 21 years of age to Leonard's age of 23, but Benitez with more experience, turning pro in Puerto Rico in 1973. Just past his 15th birthday. One more stare down from the two. Seventy-four, New York City. Signed by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next bout of the evening. The judges are Art Lurie, Harry Gibbs, and Ray Solis. The referee is Carlos Padilla. This is a 15-round contest for the WBC Welterweight Championship. Introducing in the blue corner. Fighting out of Palmer Park, Maryland, undefeated in 25 professional fights, a very popular Sugar Ray winner. And 
in the red corner, the WBC welterweight champion. He fights out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 144 and one half pounds, the very popular Wilfred Benitez. 15 rounds of boxing. So the highly anticipated matchup, ready to begin. Benitez and Leonard. Ray Leonard in his third year as a professional, fighting for a world championship. Benitez making the second defense of his welterweight crown. Benitez in the blue, Leonard in the white. Leonard with tremendous hand speed. Benitez with power. And a lot of experience as a pro. Leonard likes to keep that left hand low, but he's got such tremendous speed. Turning pro at the age of 15, Benitez. From a boxing standpoint, well seasoned in the pro game. And just 21. Like one round one, good left hand by Leonard. Benitez dips away from danger. Leonard going right at Benitez here in round one. Whipping right hand, missing with most. Good stiff jab from Leonard. Blistering left hand, flush on the face of Benitez. Right hand over the top. Benitez trying to gauge the speed of Leonard. I guess it's like a baseball player stepping into the batter's box against Nolan Ryan for the first time. A hard-throwing right-hander for the California Angels. Need to gauge the speed, get a feel for it in person. There's the bell to end round one. And again, the stare down continues. Here at Angelo Dundee telling Leonard, don't load up with the right hand, just box him. He gets set for the start of round two. Hand speed obviously in Leonard's favor. Maybe Leonard a bit anxious in that first round. In his first world championship bout. Leonard land the most 
telling blows in the first round. But did load up with that right. Let's see if he settles down here in the second. Let's see if the champion Benitez has unearthed the nugget. As far as Leonard's defense and a possible weakness. They have 15 rounds to settle it. out the jab. He has a bit cautious. Long right hand from Benitez. No short of the body of Leonard. Leonard heeding the advice of Angelo Dundee between rounds one and two. Not loading up with the right hand, at least not yet here in the second. Midway point of the second. Leonard got inside, hooked to the body. He does defensive right now. Benitez shoots a right to the body. Quick jab from Leonard. The speed of that jab from Leonard makes it seem like he has a greater advantage in the reach. He doubles up with a jab to the chin. Right now Benita is trying to figure out a way inside. This is with his jab. Little shot a nice right hand to the body. Benita felt some power there. Final seconds of the second. Leonard boxing beautifully. Sugar Ray Leonard was one of the leading boxers in the world in the 1970s and 80s, winning world titles in multiple divisions. He was given the nickname Sugar by one of his amateur coaches. Leonard had an enormously successful amateur career, winning several championships, including a gold medal at the Pan American Games in 1975. However, he really gained notoriety after winning a gold medal in 1976 at the Summer Olympics in Montreal fighting as a junior welterweight. Sugar Ray finished his amateur career with a record of 145 victories, only five defeats, and 75 KOs. After winning the gold medal, Leonard told sportscaster Howard Cosell he was quitting boxing for good. We'll be right back with more of this classic rivalry. Boys Summer Tire Sale. Buy three installed tires and get the fourth tire free. Or get Pep Boys Summer Super Special. Tires from just $19.99. This week at Pep Boys. Buy three and get the fourth tire free at Pep Boys. Texas travel information, go to traveltext.com or call 1 800 888 Tex. Wouldn't it be nice if everything in life came with a worry free guarantee? Well, at Renner Center, everything does. With our worry free guarantee, we'll match any competitor's price. No credit hassles, delivery setup, and service included. Love it or your money back. Renner Center, we make it easy to make it your own. 
Well, I was shopping for a new car. Which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack, cause now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact. F R E E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going, but was too lazy. Now instead of looking fly and rolling fat, my legs are sticking to the vinyl and my posse's getting laughed at. F R E E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. I am six dollars a bottle, but I'm the finest champagne you will ever taste. I am the Stanley Cup playoffs on Versus. Hi, I'm John Chairs. In an effort to reveal the causes of post-purchase euphoria, or PPE, the local phenomenon occurring throughout Atlanta Apodata shoe stores, I present Subject B, Mrs. Windleby. Am I on TV? You are currently experiencing PPE. I can't believe I'm on television. Your obsession with high heels cured. These shoes are ergonomically designed and non-restrictive, improving circulation and allowing your toes to move naturally. I am so happy. Yes, Mrs. Windleby, that's how PPE works. Cool shoes plus comfort and style. Abadabas with five Atlanta locations. Gas prices, where are they going to go? $4, $5, $6 a gallon? Well, at Ed Bulls Chrysler Jeep, you'll never have to worry about high gas prices again. How about $2.99 a gallon? Guaranteed for the next three years. Refuel in Georgia and giving great deals. You choose Chrysler Town & Country or a Jeep Grand Cherokee, just $18,995. Or a Jeep Patriot, just $10,995. Only at Ed Bulls Chrysler Jeep. And now let's see what happens in round three. Round three. Underway. Leonard has used his jab so far to control the fight. Not a lot of big exchanges to this point. Benitez seems to be having a hard time figuring out Leonard. So far Leonard using movement and a good jab, like right there.
Benitez will survive the round. And he says, good shot. A flash knockdown here in the third. And Benitez gets dropped. Wilfredo Benitez was born in the Bronx, but his family moved to Puerto Rico, where he started his boxing career when he was only eight years old. At the age of 15, he turned professional, knocking out Hiram Santiago in the very first round. Benitez was managed by his father and was a member of one of Puerto Rico's most famous boxing families. His brothers Frankie and Gregory Benitez were also top contenders in the 1970s. The Benitez troupe was largely directed by their mother, Clara. Wilfredo grew up going to a neighborhood boxing gym in New York where he learned from watching his brothers and other local renowned fighters practice their skills. His speed combined with punching power and surprising ring maturity for a 15-year-old were enough to make him a world-ranked boxer by both the WBA and the WBC. We'll be right back with more Legends of the Ring. Switch to Valvoline's Max Life, and there's no telling how long your car will keep going. Max Life not only protects against friction, but also leaks, deposits, and sludge, the four major causes of high mileage engine breakdown. Drive it forever. So, Bill, how do we know when it's time to replace our life jackets? It's time. Get great tips on boating, hiking, camping, and more during the Bass Pro Shop's National Go Outdoors event. Squirrels. Squirrels. Repellents and fertilizers. That'll bring your garden back. We're here because we've been there with the tools, products, and advice to get it done right. True Value. Start right, start here. Visit TrueValue.com slash TV for a free $5 coupon. Print your $5 coupon at TrueValue.com slash TV. Introducing Wealth Ruler, a new retirement planner from TD Ameritrade. Unlike most other planners, Wealth Ruler recognizes the what ifs of real life. What if you choose to continue working part time? What if you inherit some money? What if you move to a lower tax state? Wealth Ruler gives you straightforward answers that you can actually apply to your retirement strategy. And it's free at tdameritrade.com. Independence is the spirit that drives America's most successful investors. Do you dread giving your dog a bath as much as your dog dreads getting one? Wish there was a faster, easier way without all the mess and stress? Introducing the Rapid Bath Pet Bathing System. The all-in-one wet wash and rinse pet bathing solution. It transforms at-home dog bathing from this to this. The Rapid Bath System's patented Inject Air technology deep cleans with a relaxing massage action that penetrates all the way through the undercoat, cutting bath time to a fast and efficient three minutes. I was able to just wash them real quickly and rinse them off and I didn't have to hurt my back. It is fast, it's quick, it's easy, it's going to save you time, it's going to keep you from getting wet and having to mess around with a soapy, slippery shampoo bottle. It used very little shampoo. It rinsed the shampoo off so well, I can't believe that I didn't have to scrub him. Visit rapidbathing.com and find out more about the quick and easy three-minute rapid bath pet bathing system. Available at a retailer near you. And now, let's get back to the fight. Round four underway. Benitez dropped by Leonard in the third. Another lightning quick left hand. Benitez changed the fabric of this fight. Right now, Leonard keeping it on the outside. He's boxing where he can exhibit and use superior hand feet, hand speed, everything off the jab. There's another one, peppering the face of Benitez. Let's see Benitez. 
Valdez wants to shoot that right hand over the top of Leonard. He keeps that left hand low, but Leonard is so fast with that hand. He sticks it right up and scores a jab. is not able to muster any offense here. Lead right hand fell a little short. There's a right hand that's scored by the champion Benitez. His best punch of the fight. Seems as if every time Benitez gets inside that jab and gets in close, Leonard's hand speed is too much, and Leonard wins the exchange. A caution for pushing down the head of Benitez. landed his best punch of the fight in the fourth. But did he do enough to win the round? <laughs> 21-year-old Wilfred Benitez making the second defense of his WBC welterweight championship. Now we'll negate the hand speed of Ray Leonard. Round five underway. Benitez was dropped. Near the end of round number three. At stake, Benitez WBC World Welterweight Championship. Sugar Ray Leonard in his first title fight. In his first world title fight. Not 
to muster much offense here. One punch at a time. Either that or he's out of range. He reaches and Leonard taps him with a jab. Leonard digs in with a right cross. Triple jab. Not really stepping into the plan. Steps in there. Gets Leonard and Leonard responds. End of round number five. As Ray Leonard in his first bid for a world championship taking on Wilfred Benitez. Of all the numbers you encounter, along your journey to wherever you're going, you'll find there's one number you can always count on for a great night's rest. Super 8, now with free high-speed internet, free breakfast, and more. Super 8, see you along the way. Look at them. You give them the best years of your life, shuttling them around. Then they go away on one vacation without you. And all they can talk about is that Hummer from Avis. I'd like to see that Hummer have to take them to the stupid mall three times a day. Actually, I take that back. With dozens of the hottest cars to choose from, there's a reason Avis is your other car. Start your engine. And moving tip number four, always move at your own pace. For a more affordable, convenient way to make a local or long distance move, order a Sam Store and Move container today. Slow down. I want to ride my bicycle. My Roswell bicycle. Roswell Bicycles, Georgia's largest and a top 100 bicycle retailer in the USA. Don't make the discount store mistake. Roswell Bicycles has the lifetime service policy and will not be undersold. As your kids grow, trade in your Roswell Bicycle. The perfect plan for growing families. Roswell Bicycles, where the adventures continue. 770-642-4057. Are you looking for the perfect car? Comcast can help. Just press 889 on your Comcast remote and browse through our Searchlight Automotive listings. Pause, fast forward, and rewind through hundreds of car listings that are updated weekly. Introducing Jiffy Lube Savings Book with over $150 in money-saving coupons on all kinds of preventive maintenance. The best-selling book you don't even have to buy. Searchlight. Demand more from your TV. After his success at the Olympics, Leonard wanted to go to college. However, his father became ill and his family needed money. With no endorsement contracts offered him, Leonard announced his intention to become a pro boxer. Angelo Dundee, one of Muhammad Ali's trainers, was brought in to be Leonard's manager and co-trainer. He became a fighter because he wanted to do something for his mother and father. See, he was a different ball game, a different cell, home cooking. There's a guy that wants to do something for his family. He really didn't want to be a fighter. You know, and then the Ray Charles thing. Oh, he's sure after Sugar Ray. He wasn't. He was named after Ray Charles the singer. That's where he got the name. Sugar Ray would make $40,000 for his first professional fight, a high amount of money for a pro debut at the time. The man, the guy was a champion. He was a great fighter. I enjoyed working with him. 
Sugar Ray Leonard, the 1976 gold medalist, is posing some problems for the ring savvy Benitez. Benitez and causes him to back away and reset. <laughs> Leonard pointing a very smart fight technically. Loading up with the right hands in round one, his trainer Angelo Dundee pointed that out after the first round. Leonard settled down. In round number three, he dropped Benitez late in the round with a fast left hand. Flash knockdown. But a knockdown nonetheless. I have it five rounds to nothing for the challenger Leonard. But a long way to go in the scheduled 15 rounder. Here's Leonard landing a shot, getting out of range. That referee Carlos Padilla has called time. Oh, there's a cut. Benitez is cut on the forehead. Blood streaming down his face. Don't know if that was from a punch or an accidental clash of heads. It's right on the top of the forehead. Now Benitez tasting his own blood, digs in against Leonard, and that's how round number six ends. Now the work on that cut. Problem with anything above the island is once that cut reopens during the course of the round, the boxer has to deal with the blood and sweat running into the eyes. Take a look right here. Let's see if it was a clash of heads or a punch. Right there. Boom. There's your cut. Accidental clash of heads. High on the forehead of Benitez. And blood dripping into the eye. That could be a problem. Because if it drips into the eye as a punch is coming, it could mean havoc for the fighter. Round seven underway. Leonard in total control. Trying to take away Benitez's WBC welterweight championship. Leonard has done a nice job using his skills and God-given talent. Fast hands, fast feet. And a smart fight plan. No doubt laid forth by the great Angelo Dundee. See that blood dripping out of the cut on the far head of Benitez. 
see if Leonard starts to pepper it for the jab. See if this changes Benitez's plan a little bit. Right now he's being outboxed. He's got a cut. Does he open up the throttle a bit more? Take a few chances. Benitez kind of shaking his left hand. I wonder if he heard it there. Maybe getting the elbow of Leonard. by Leonard. He's trying to take away Benitez's title. Is he doing enough to take the champion's belt? Again, Leonard misses with that overhand right. Peppers Benitez with a jab. Benitez with a right over the top. And round number seven. And again, they work on the cut on the forehead of Benitez. Stay tuned for more boxing action. Going somewhere? <laughs> what are you in for? Wi-Fi? Break free from Wi-Fi with broadband access from Verizon Wireless. Click to connect and work in more spots than just hotspots on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. Now get a free broadband access modem. Monthly plan starting at $39.99. It's reliability to go. Verizon Wireless. It's an exciting new breakthrough in automotive technology. It's CNET, newly expanded and only at AutoZone. CNET gives every AutoZoner the power to find you the right part faster. Along with diagrams, photos, and step-by-step -step instructions, so you'll get the job done right the first time, every time. Come in for a test drive today. Improved CNET, available only when you get in the zone. AutoZone. Today, the formula for the best margarita. Excuse me, sir. Isn't it the tequila that makes it? Even better gas mileage from a Suzuki. How about free gas? That's right. Get any Suzuki with 0% financing, and you'll get a summer's worth of gas free. All just in time for a summer adventure. Since Suzuki is great on gas to begin with, it just doesn't get much better than this. Free gas with 0% financing. Hurry in. Wouldn't it be nice if everything in life came with a worry-free guarantee? Well, at Brothers Center, everything does. With our worry-free guarantee, we'll match any competitor's price. No credit hassles, delivery setup and service included. Love it or your money back. Brother Center, we make it easy to make it your own. I am six dollars a bottle, but I'm the finest champagne you will ever taste. I am the Stanley Cup playoffs on Versus.
Wilfredo Benitez went on a 28-bout winning streak and on March 6th, 1976, he made history by becoming the youngest boxer ever to win a world championship at the age of 17. He did this by defeating Colombian Antonio Kid Pombele Cervante. He defended his WBA junior welterweight title three times, but the WBA stripped him of it because he denied Pombele a rematch. On January 14, 1979, he defeated famed slugger Carlos Palomino in a spectacular showdown. It was in this fight that the Puerto Rican boxer showed his powerful punching ability and skillful blow dodging. In just 10 months, he climbed in the ring to defend his title once again, this time against Sugar Ray Leonard. Let's get back to the action. At this point, I am not giving Benitez a round. And Leonard knocked Benitez down in round three. The round he was winning, nonetheless. From a scoring standpoint, I have it 70 to 62 in favor of Leonard. What will Benitez do? Turn this fight in his favor. Can he get inside on Leonard? And string together some combinations that hurt the Olympian. Fight stays where it is right now. On the outside with Leonard's peppering jab and blazing hand speed. Benitez could go 30 rounds and not have a shot. Every time Benitez steps in with a combination, Leonard responds. Whether he lands or not, three and four punch speed combinations cause Benitez to stop punching. Someone in the Leonard camp said, pick it up, Ray, pick it up. I may have it clearly scored in Leonard's favor. But I'm not one of the three judges at ringside. Hard right hand to the body from Leonard. He says gets in tight. Got off a good left hand. Final half minute of the eighth. Right hand missed by Benitez. Leonard didn't make him pay. Good shot to the stomach by Leonard to end the eighth. For the most part, Ray Leonard has controlled this fight. Good jab. The high water mark. The end of round number three, dropping Benitez with the left. We'll be right back with more action with these two classic rivals. Have you ever felt small? I mean, really, really tiny, like a speck of nothingness. You could be big time, like me. How do you get bigger? By doing big things. Huge, enormous things. You can make a big move right now. Vegas right now. Vegas right now is new nightclubs like The Bang, Moon, and Prevé, and new shows like Cirque du Soleil's Love, Celebration of the Beatles. Find it all at visitlasvegas.com. Live large. Do Vegas right now.
Nothing brings people together like boating. Get started with your free DVD at discoverboating.com or 1-800-808-BOAT. 43 wins and 33 knockouts. Ricky Hatton heads home where losing is not an option. Hatton versus Lascano, live next Saturday at 3.30 on Versus. If you plan... Hi folks, Jeff Shepard. You know, folks do business with Marietta Dodge for all kinds of reasons. Everybody loves the lifetime warranty, plus the lifetime oil changes. And shoot, you can't beat that huge selection. And now we've even got $2.99 guaranteed gas for the next three years. Now is the best time ever for you to do business with Marietta Dodge. Right now I've got $10,000 off of brand new 08 Dodge Ram quad cabs. That's right, folks, $10,000 off. Experience the difference only at Marietta Dodge. Good morning, Atlanta. Get your day moving with Headline News Morning Express with Robin Mead. It's your morning news in the fast lane. So in the last hour, we had some breaking news. Let's get to that now. And move your internet connection to the fast lane with Comcast High Speed Internet with Power Boost and get speeds up to 12 megs. Go to CNN.com slash Robin using your Comcast connection to sign up for Robin's daily newsletter and download her weekly podcast. Headline News Morning Express with Robin Mead every weekday morning on Comcast Channel 35. WEC champ and marine hero Brian Stan hosts a full day WEC marathon versus red, white, black, and blue summer begins May 26th at noon. Leonard easily won his first 25 pro fights. In 1979, Sugar Ray's most impressive performance to date took place when he knocked out Pete Ranzani in four rounds to win the North American Boxing Federation Welterweight Championship. Just a month later, a first round KO of respected contender Andy Price followed. By now, it was obvious to everyone that Leonard was ready to battle for the championship. That's when he signed to meet undefeated Wilfredo Benitez for the WBC World Welterweight title. Let's get back to that fight. Okay. Benitez making the second defense of his WBC Welterweight Championship. Round nine underway. Chant of Wilfred from some of the fans here in Las Vegas. Not overly enthusiastic, but loud enough. Benitez reaching with the right hand. Seems to be taking a few more chances, the champion is. Leonard has not been as busy. Last couple of rounds, he's elected to counter. Exchange body shots. Good left and then a right hand by Leonard. Right to the chest. Right hand behind the ear, fired by Benitez. Good exchange there. Benitez was cut on the forehead. See some blood trickling out. In round six, an accidental clash of heads. Chopping right hand from Leonard. Angelo Dundee saying to Leonard, pick it up, pick it up. Another right hand to the body scored by Leonard. Benitez opening up. Benitez keeps ducking that overhand right from Leonard. Leonard hooks to the body. Benitez shook his 
10. Saying it didn't hurt, but it scored. Fairly close round, that could be enough to tilt it in Leonard's way. End of the ninth. Some of the action from round nine. Leonard missed with the right. Benitez tapped him with the left. And Leonard gets Benitez with the right hand. Also got in a little left. Benitez shook his head as if no problem. Here, Angelo Dundee saying you can go all night long. Leonard looks fresh. Round 10. Scheduled for 15. Wilfred Benitez defending his WBC welterweight championship against 1976 Olympic gold medalist Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard a perfect 25 and 0, 16 knockouts in his third year as a professional. A professional career he predicted would not happen. Left hand by Benitez. One of his best punches of the fight. right hand from Benitez that missed. Leonard has done some good work to the body in this fight. Like right there. Benitez answers. Again, Leonard missing with that overhand right. Round one, he threw a steady diet of miss. Double hook to the body from Benitez. Both men in fantastic condition. Leonard turned pro as a junior welterweight. Made the move to welterweight quickly. Benitez as well started as a junior welterweight. Briefly held the junior welterweight championship. Made one defense. Check that two defenses and then moved up to welter. Right hand over the top from Benitez. With a bolo action from Leonard. Good left hook to the body by Leonard. Benitez responds with the right. Angelo Dundee yelling from the corner. Pump the jab, pump the jab. And Leonard has worked that jab consistently. Benitez has not had an answer. Left hook to the body by Leonard. Short right inside from Benitez. That's the end of the 10th. Unlike other boxers, Leonard did not sign a long-term contract with a single boxing promoter. Because of Sugar Ray's popularity and shrewd advisors, he was free to choose with whom he did business. 
TV networks and promoters came to Leonard with various deals. As a result, Leonard's fights were either broadcast on NBC, CBS, HBO, or ABC. This wide exposure gained Leonard a tremendous following in America and around the world. It also generated resentment among some fans, reporters, and boxers who felt Leonard was given too many breaks. We'll be right back with more of this classic rivalry.